Welcome to Old School Blues Guitar and it is time for the Classic Licks series video for November, December 2016. This is where I pick a specific classic blues guitarist and try to go through and, and figure out his style or teach some of the key ideas that are part of his style. Sometimes I just like to go through and, and introduce a vocabulary of licks. And this month I'm going to use a jazz guitar player, Charlie Christian. And I don't know about you, but I like to try to learn some jazzier licks to throw in, especially when I play more swing blues with a piano player or with a full band, which I get to do not very often. But when I do, it's nice to have some, some jazzier stuff to throw in there instead of just the, the straight blues things. And in this lesson, I am no jazz guitar player and I am no Charlie Christian expert, but I've listened to a, a ton of Charlie Christian stuff. And what I try to do is pick out things that I can use. And when I play blues, a lot of times I'll play in the first position blues box. And so what I'm doing here with this lesson is I've, I've picked out 25 Charlie Christian licks that show some of his ideas playing in the first blues box. And some of them are note for note from a variety of his songs. Others are sort of adaptations that I've come up with based on licks that he plays in certain songs. So I'm just going to get started and go through these one at a time. Where I can, I will write down or, or I'll list the name of the song that it comes from. Some of these I did as I went through, others I've forgotten the song that I got them from. So I'll just show you the idea and maybe give you some ideas. And I'm going to be playing in all different keys. And at least until I get to about lick 21, I'm just going to show you stuff in the first position blues box. Now at the end, I've got a few Charlie Christian licks that I just love that aren't in the first position blues box, but I just have to share a Charlie Christian tune called Flying Home in the key of E flat. So we're going to be playing over this first position blues box with my first finger at the 11th fret. And it goes like this. So I'm going to go from the 11th fret to the, on the first string to the 13th fret of the 2nd string, and then 11, 12 on the 3rd fret. That's the first part of the lick. And that's a neat little idea that you can use in a lot of different ways for swing or blues playing. Then we're going to go 13th fret of the 4th string to the 10th fret, and then back to the 13th for 2. So if I play that all by itself, again the whole thing, then I'm going to hammer on from the 11th to the 12th fret on the 3rd string. So the whole lick, and there's one example of playing over the first position blues box. And you can play that in any key. So if we go to C, can move that around anywhere on the neck. That's another reason I like these Charlie Christian licks flying home. And this is a, a double stop, which you don't usually hear. And he plays it like this. And there's another little lick. And what I'm doing, I've got my ring finger on the 13th fret of the second string, and my first finger on the 11th fret of the third string. Listen to that double stop. That's cool. Then I'm going to go again. 13th fret to the 10th fret on the 4th string. And then three times on that 13th fret of the 4th string. You could play that like a little horn leg. Or however you want to use it. So that's lick number two and called seven come eleven and this is in a flat and in the at the solo a lot of these licks are licks that charlie christian uses to kick off his solos which are really cool and this may not be exactly right but he does something like this and that's a neat charlie christian idea one more time and that little lick a very common Charlie Christian lick. You hear a lot of electric blues guys use that too. 
So I start out on this 6th fret of the 4th string, kind of bouncing on that. And then I'm going to go 4-5 on the 3rd string, 4-6 on the 2nd string, and then 4th fret of the 1st string. One more time. And there's another Charlie Christian lick. That was number three. Go from seven come eleven in A flat. It goes like this. And it involves some, some cool bends. One more time. And so I'm starting out with that same lick. 6th fret of the 4th string. That's the same as the last lick, and then I'm doing this band, 6th fret of the 1st string to the 4th fret of the 1st string. Same thing on the 2nd string. And then a little bend up on the 4th fret of the 3rd string. Has a little kind of an odd sound there, and then 6-4 on the 4th string. So that lick, that part of the leg, the whole lick, and that's within the first blues box in A flat, of A flat, and it goes like this. One more time. This little variation on that. So he's going from the 6th fret of the 4th string, 4-5 on the 3rd string, and here's the, the really neat sounding lick where he goes from the 4th fret of the 2nd string to the 6th fret of the 3rd string. You could use that all by itself as a lick. And then 4-6 on the 2nd string, 4th fret of the 1st string. So one more time, this is lick number 5. You can mix up the timing like that. Use that lick in a bunch of different ways. So these are all variations over that first position blues box. Six is in the key of C. Comes from a tune called Airmail Special, and it goes like this. And that is my variation on that. I don't know if he plays it exactly like that. I start out on the 8th fret of the 1st string. And I play that 6 times. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Then I go 11, 10, 8 on the 2nd string. To the 10th fret of the 3rd string. And then 8, 9 on the 3rd string. There's the lick. One more time. So this part, we could throw in this. Throw in the 8th fret of the 2nd string too, but I think that's what he does in the original, but I just play it kind of like that. So that was lick number 6, Mayall Special, and he does something like this. time. And the main part of the lick, he's just sliding from the ninth to the tenth on the fourth string. And then eight, nine on the third string to the eighth fret of the second string. Something like that. Kind of a cool little lead-in lick or something you can use as a fill or, or whatever you want to do with it. Entirely Christian type things and actually this is a lick that he plays sort of in unison with the rest of the band and I call it a horn lick. It's a horn lick idea. You could use this in a solo or you could use it in a fill. It's in the key of F. So we're playing over the first blues box way down here in F and it goes something like this. Cool idea, and 
starts out one three on the second string to the first fret of the first string and then repeats one to three on the second string then to the fourth fret of the first string to the third fret of the second string to the third fret of the first string to the first fret of the first string third fret second string first fret first string so the whole thing slowly and then again and again you can wind it up any way you want want to so one more time another Charlie Christian lick idea in the key of F. And one thing I like to do is listen to the arrangements, especially, you know, when you're playing there with Benny Goodman. And the horn section will be playing this really cool sort of head riff or melodic riff toward the end of the song and see if I can play it on guitar. And oftentimes, if you listen carefully, Charlie's just playing single string runs to match what the horns or the other instruments are doing, the clarinet or whatever, whatever's going on more complicated in the key of C and it goes like this and it's got that neat little band which is on the 10th fret of the second string so that first little lick bending up on the 10th fret of the second string 8th fret of the second string 10th fret of the fourth string and then this next part is similar to stuff we've already done. So I'm going to the, from the 8th to the 9th fret on the 3rd string, to the 8th fret on the 2nd string, to the 10th fret of the 3rd string, and then 8, 9 again. So that first part, so the whole leg, And then the rest of it so it's like this so we're just going eight nine on the third string ten seven ten on the fourth string and then eight nine again on the third string so the whole lick again, and played slowly, and that is lick number nine, BFC, and this is one of my all-time favorite Charlie Christian licks. And that is hard to play. That is a really neat lick. He starts out sliding from the 7th to the 9th fret to the 8th fret of the 2nd string. So 7, 9 on the 3rd string. And then he gets on the 8th fret of the 1st string. So the whole thing. And then he does these pull-offs. Which are really cool. He's going 11, 10, 8 on the first string. Same thing on the second string. And then he's going to do the same thing on the third and fourth strings, but this time he's going to go 8, 7, 5 on the third and fourth strings. So that whole thing. Like that. So let's do that whole lick again, slowly. He's going to come back to the 10th fret of the 4th string, then a hammer on, 8, 9 on the on the 3rd string, or he could play a double stop. I think he'd play single string. So 8, 9 on the 3rd string. Then you play it again. Then the second time, you can go 8, 10th fret of the 4th string to the 7th fret. And then play it again.
again. And that mimics what they're, they're doing with the horn part. This part, it's kind of tough. I'm not real smooth at this, but I like to try to play this lick. Again. something like that. So the slide is from 7-9 on the 3rd string to the 2nd string, 8th fret. Just like that. Love that lick. And that's number, number 10. This, also in the key of C. somewhere to what we did before. What I'm doing is instead of playing this, like a double stop, I did this earlier, I'm picking each string individually. I've got my ring finger on the 10th fret of the 2nd string, and my 1st finger on the 8th fret of the 3rd string. Now I'm going 3rd string, 2nd string. And then that little lick, which we've done before. stop the Charlie Christian does it single strength one more time the next one number 12 is in the key of C and it's another one of these horn legs and it goes like this which is kind of cool and I'm going 810 on the second string, 8th fret to the 10th fret on the 2nd string, twice on the 8th fret of the 1st string, back to, or the 6th fret of the 1st string, back to the 8th fret of the 2nd string, then I'm going to go 10, 8 on the 1st string, twice on the 1st fret, 1st string, 1st string, 8th fret, so let's do that again. then back to the 10th fret of the 2nd string. Then I'm going to do a band on the 11th fret of the 1st string. So the whole thing again. And then you just repeat that. a neat little lick to insert in a solo or again as a fill or to play along with the band toward the end of the song. That's number 12. And this is kind of cool. It's got a little descending run to it. Again, we're playing in the first position, blues box. So I'm going to play that again. So we're going 3rd fret of the 2nd string, 4 times, 2nd fret of the 2nd string, twice, and then we're going 1 to 3 on the 1st string, and sliding from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the 1st string, back to the 1st fret of the 1st string, and then this 3, 2, 1 on the 2nd string. So the whole thing, let me try that again, nice little combination, one more time slowly, and that is lick number 13. In